Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Gonzalez Clark. We are going to continue today with volume. Today's volume problem is going to be a little different um, as opposed to ones we've done in the past because this volume problem is going to involve two separate um, prisms that we need to work with simultaneously. So I'm going to um, read the problem. We're gonna do the three read protocol. So I'll read first, then we'll read together, and then we'll read it together again um, a third time. So after I read it the first time, I just want you to think about what is the situation that is going on. Heidi and Andrew designed two raised flower beds for their garden. Heidi's flower bed was five feet long by three feet wide, and Andrew's flower bed was the same length, but twice as wide. So. I'm going to give you a moment to just think about what is the situation that is occurring in this problem. Okay, so the situation that is occurring in this problem is that Heidi and Andrew both have flower beds. Flower beds are, are a particular um, rectangular prism shaped um, contraption that is in gardens that holds um, flowers. So Heidi and Andrew um, both designed flower beds, but there's um, a situation here. Heidi's is one type of measurement and Andrew's is another type of measurement. So we have two flower beds that we're working with and each of those separate flower beds have different dimensions, different measurements um, attached to them. Okay, so we're gonna read it again together and then after we read it again, Together, I want you to think about the quantities that um, popped up while we read it, okay? So, Heidi and Andrew designed two raised flower beds for their garden. Heidi's flower bed was five feet long by three feet wide, and Andrew's flower bed was the same length but twice as wide. I'll give you a moment to just think about what quantities are you noticing in the problem. Okay, so there's a few quantities that are um, present in the problem. So we have, the first quantity is that there are two raised flower beds, right? So we mentioned that when we spoke about the situation. And some other quantities that stood out were that Heidi's flower bed was five feet long by three feet wide. And then some other quantities that stood out were Andrew's flower bed, the measurements, which is the same length as Heidi's. However, the width is twice as wide. So quantities don't necessarily always have to be an actual digit, an actual numeric number. It can also be um, words that can also substitute as a quantity. In this case, um, you can see that. So we're going to read it the third time. And after the third time, we're just going to think about some mathematical questions that can um, come up that we might possibly be able to solve based off of this information. So let's read the problem again. Heidi and Andrew designed two raised flower beds for their garden. Heidi's flower bed was five feet long by three feet wide, and Andrew's flower bed was the same length but twice as wide. So one mathematical question that can come up is how wide is sorry Andrew's flower bed so that's a pretty important question and then another question that we can ask is, how much cubic feet of soil will they need to buy to have soil to a depth of two feet in each of the flower beds? So that's actually the rest of the problem that we didn't read, but that's definitely something that we want to answer. So I'm not even going to rewrite that since it's already in the problem. I am just going to highlight it, but I'm gonna highlight it with a different color.
at least I thought I chose a different color. Okay, came out the same color. <laughs> no worries. Okie dokie. All right, so now we are going to look at the problem and see how we can tackle this. Just had to erase that really quick. Okay, so we have Heidi and Andrew who both designed two flower beds. So I am going to just kind of make a visual representation of Heidi's flower bed first. Okay, so we're going to go back to the problem and we're going to start to figure this out. So again, Heidi and Andrew designed two raised flower beds. So here I indicated this one as H for Heidi and this one I labeled A as A for Andrew. Now Heidi's flower bed was five feet long by three feet wide. And Andrew's flower bed was the same length, but twice as wide. So if Heidi's was three, feet wide, then we would have to double this. We would have to do three times two. So three times two gives us six, which means that Andrew's width to his flower bed is six feet. Now, calculate how much cubic feet of soil they need to buy to have, a so to, have soil to a depth of two feet in both flower beds. And this is very important because this is going to tell us right here that our height is two, our depth. How far from the bottom to the top. So here we have our two figures, our two flower beds, and the dimensions, the measurements that go along with each um, part. So our length is five feet, our width is three feet, our depth, our height is two feet. That's for Heidi's flower bed. And for Andrew's flower bed, our length is five feet, our width is six feet, and our height and depth is two feet. So let's go back at that first mathematical question that we, that we created when we were reading the problem using the three-way protocol. So how wide is Andrew's flower bed? So we figured that out. Since it's two times bigger than the width of Heidi's flower bed, then we did three times two which gave us six. So we're able to answer that mathematical question. Now we need to calculate how many cubic feet of soil do they need to buy to have soil to a depth of two feet in both flower beds. So now that we have all of the measurements needed for each of these figures, we need to find the volume of each figure. And again, the formula for volume is length times width times height. So in this figure here, what we need to do is we need to do five times th three times two, which is equal to, if we have five times three, that's 15. And then 15 times two gives us 30 cubic feet. Now we have this figure. So here, our length is five. Our width is six. And our height, our depth is two. So we have five times six, which is 30. And then 30 times two gives us 60 cubic Okay, so we need to see how much soil we're gonna need to buy in order to fill both of these flower beds. So now I'm going to take this amount, the 30 cubic feet, 
and I'm going to add to it the 60 cubic feet. Give me one second, sorry about that. Just gonna write it. Okay, so we have the 30 plus the 60, which gives us 90 cubic feet. I'm going to move that up and just stick it right here. So that means the total amount of soil that we are going to need in order to fill both of these flower beds would be 90 cubic feet. So what we did was is we looked at this problem and we had to deal with two prisms simultaneously. We needed to find a missing measurement for one of them and then we needed to find the volume for each figure for prism number one and then for prism number two. And then once we found the volumes of those two figures, we added the amounts together, which gave us, gave us the grand total of volume, which was equal to 90 cubic feet. Therefore, we know how much soil is going to need to be purchased to fulfill and fill up those two flower beds.